Hi, we're going to create a simple IVR in free PBX today. Um, first thing we need to do for this is to get a sand file onto the server that will um, read out the options that the callers will be able to choose from when they get connected to the IVR. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. Um, we can go into system recordings, which is what we need to add to the system. We can record a sound file by using one of our extensions. And to do that, we just put in the number of the extension we're going to use. And follow the instructions, dial star 77 for that extension. Record your, um, record your file on there. Save it away. And um, it will then appear on your system recordings lists over here. Um, what I'm going to do, the other way of doing it is to upload a pre-recorded file. Um, so I've got a WAV file that's been done a little bit more professionally than um, one I could produce myself. If you do this, the recording, the WAV format needs to be mono, 8000 kilohertz, 16 bits. If it's not, asterisk won't be able to play it, you'll just get silence. Um, so here's my file. So we're going to upload that to the server. Okay, so it says here that we've successfully uploaded, but what we also have to do is name the recording. So you can give it a more friendly name here if you wish to, but I'll leave this as RVR demo for the purposes of this. So we just click save there, and now we've got our RVR demo recording available within the free PBX system to use in our various dial patterns. Right, so the next thing to do is actually go and create the IVR. So we'll go into Applications and IVR. Then we'll add a new IVR. We'll give it a name. Um, I'll call it Main. Just call it whatever you need to call it to um, make sense of it later on when you come back to look at it. Um, IVR description. Main number. There we go. It's the main number that's dialed into the office. This is the IVR that you're going to hit. Um, okay, so our announcement is the recording file we just made. There are many other options, all of which are pretty self-explanatory. If you need more information, click on the, uh, or hover over the question mark, and it'll give you prompts to what it does. Um, so, I'll Importantly, down at the bottom here is where we tell it what we want the system to do with the call when the person calling in chooses an option from our IVR. So I've got three options on this IVR, you'll hear them shortly. Um, one is to go to technical support. So if they press one, the destination is going to be... ring group technical support. Okay, I'm going to add an option two, which is going to be ring group sales, and I'm going to option, option three, which is going to go straight to an extension of 1000. Okay, so now we've got, uh, that's a, this is where the system is going to send the calls when they choose these options from the IVR now, so we simply submit that. It will force you to put a uh, an invalid destination. So if the caller presses the wrong button, um, or they don't press a button at all, it's, it's basically what you want to do with the call then. So normally, sorry, um, probably just put them through just put them straight through to one of your ring groups or maybe you put them through to an extension that's going to be um, your receptionist in the business just some way to deal with the call basically so you don't lose them so this is the time out destination this is what you're going to do with them if they don't press a button at all so again we'll put that through to the receptionist so you get to deal with 
So we've got the basic setup of our IVR there. You can see it now appears over here on our list. Find the config. Right, so the only other thing we need to do now is to send callers to the IVR when they ring in, which is pretty simple because we're just going to invert routes and select the number they're going to ring. Let's get that one for example. And all we do on this inbound route for this, so if they, if they dial this number, they come into this system and we're going to send them to the IVR domain that we've just created, submit that, and apply it. And, uh, okay, so that should be ready. Okay, so let's give that a test and see how we've got to set it. If you would like technical help, press 1. If you want to pay your bill by credit or debit card, press 2. If you would like to track a recent order, press 3. Okay, so that's the WAV file we uploaded earlier on for our um, IVR. And if we choose one of the options we set up on, there we go, and it's phoning our technical support desk. So there we go, job done, IVR set up.